Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have some fun card designing techniques that I want to share with you. So we're going to actually take the same size pieces and create three different cards. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have three different card ideas that I want to share with you. Now, the fun thing about these card ideas is that the pieces that I used are the exact same size, yet I have three completely different cards. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the cards in this video feature the Hippest Hippos stamp set from Stampin' Up! So this is a brand new stamp set that is part of the celebration offering that will be starting on July 1st. So you can get this stamp set for free with a $50 purchase during celebration. It also has a coordinating die set. So there's lots of fun little dies in here that you can use to decorate your cards created with this particular stamp set. And this die set is also free with a $50 purchase. So it's a great way to get a full set of products during celebration. Okay, so let me show you how to make these cards. Okay, so here is the first card that I'm going to show you how to make. So we're going to talk about the pieces that I used first. So these are the pieces that I'm using to create the card. So the first is a piece of designer series paper. So this piece is two by four and a half inches. The next piece I'm using is just a little piece of vellum. And so this is two by four. And then the third piece that I'm using is a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock, which is cut at two by three and a quarter inches. So these are the three pieces that we're gonna use on each of the three cards that I'm gonna share today. So basically what I'm gonna do is use the exact same measurements on the other two cards, but we're gonna change the layouts a little bit, and I'm just gonna kinda of mix and match my papers. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So let's go ahead and create this first card. Now I'm using Fresh Freesia for my card base, so it's just my standard card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. So the first thing we'll do is take our two by four and a half inch piece and we'll just adhere it kind of on the left side of the card front. Then I'm just gonna take my two by four inch piece of vellum and just kind of overlay it onto that designer series paper. And then I'm gonna take my two by three and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. Now I emboss this with the splatter, one of the splatter embossing folders. You can use any embossing folder that you have on hand. And so I'm just gonna layer this right over the top. So we're just kind of creating like smaller sections of layers as you go across the card. So that's the basic design for the card. So let me move this out of the way. The next thing I did is created the focal point for the card. So for this, I just used one of the hippo images and some black memento ink. And I'm just going to stamp the hippo right in the center of this two and a half inch circle shape. Now I created this circle shape using the stylish shapes dies and you can create a circle, a square, whatever you wanna use as a focal point. So now I'm gonna do a bit of coloring on my image. And so I have a variety of Stampin' Blends because you guys know how much I love my Stampin' Blends. So I'm just gonna start by coloring in this little flower on the hippo using some fresh freesia. And then I'm gonna use some Granny Apple Green just to add a little bit of color here to the leaf. Then I'll use my ivory marker just to kind of add uh, you know, just a little different color to the center here of the hippo. And then I also just added this up to the ears. And then I'm just using dark and light colored markers. This is the Smoky Slate markers. So I'm gonna start by coloring in the image using the light marker. So I'm just gonna go around and just color all this in. Now 
Now I'm going to take the dark smoky slate and I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast, kind of like outlining some of the main areas of this image. And that's really it. So you can see how just by adding that little bit of dark kind of gives the the look of watercoloring without having to do the actual watercoloring. So just kind of a fun way to color in this cute little hippo. All right, so we'll bring back our card. So the next thing I did is just create a scalloped circle shape. This is Granny Apple Green, and it's slightly larger than this white circle shape, so it gives it a nice little matting. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this little guy right on this circle shape. Okay, so I just added a couple dimensionals on the back, and then I'm just gonna pop this up right in the center of the card. The next thing I did is just create a little banner here on a half inch wide piece of white cardstock. So I stamped my little greeting on there. This is one of the greetings from the set. And then I'm just going to adhere it to this left side of the card. And then I just cut out a few floral shapes from uh, using the dies from the set. And I just kind of coordinated it with my designer paper. And I'll just put those right on the side there. The last thing I did is just add a couple of pearls to these little florals. So that's really it. That's the basic design uh, that I wanted to share with you. So next I'm gonna show you how to take the same measurements for these pieces and create a completely different design. Okay, so here is card number two. So it's the exact same focal point, the exact same papers and different things, but I just kind of switched out how I arranged these on the card. And I also switched out the measurements. So when I say I switched out the measurements, I switched out the measurements of the designer paper and the vellum and the card stock. So on this card, you can see that the designer paper here is two by four but on this card, it is the two by four and a half. So all those measurements that I gave you are exactly the same as the first card. I just cut the papers different. So it'll make sense as I go along. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with a piece of fresh freesia cardstock for the base of our card. And so our two by four and a half inch piece for this card is going to be the embossed cardstock. So I'm going to add this to the card first. This is going to go in the background and it's going to go right in the center of the card. And then my two by four inch piece this time is my designer paper. So if you're wondering where I got this paper from, this is from the Hues of Happiness designer series paper pack. So this one I'm just adding off here to the left hand side. And then the last piece I have is the two by three and a quarter inch piece, and this time I used vellum. So I'm just gonna off center it. And then we'll go ahead and add our focal point. So it's the exact same focal point that I used on the first card. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my greeting right over here, kind of off on the right hand side. And then we'll just add a couple of those little flowers that I cut with the die set that coordinates with this particular stamp set. And then for the finishing touch, we'll just add a couple of pearls right on these little flowers. All right, so that's card number two. So it's the exact same measurements for the pieces. I just changed out which pieces I cut with using those measurements but I'm using the exact same designer paper, cardstock, and vellum. So here is card number three, just another different layout and a fun way to use those three different sized papers. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Fresh Freesia cardstock. And so I have that two by four and a half inch piece of cardstock. And so I'm again gonna put this in the center, just like I did on the last card. So this design is actually the same as the last card, except for I switched out the papers. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So now I'm adding my vellum 
This is the two by four inch piece of vellum. So I'm adding this to the left side. And then I have my two by three and a quarter inch piece of designer paper. So that's gonna kind of go off the right side. And then of course I add my focal point to the center. And then I added my little greeting off to the side. And then I just changed the placement of my florals. So we'll put these little florals up here. And then we'll just add a couple pearls to embellish it. Okay, so let me bring back that other design so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see this is the exact same design, but instead of using vellum, like here I used vellum, here I just changed it to the pattern paper. Here I used pattern paper and here I just changed it to the vellum and I left the you know centerpiece the same. So it's actually the exact same layout but the only difference is I changed how I used the vellum and the pattern paper. Now if you bring all three of them together you can see that these two layouts are exactly the same. I just switched out the papers like I told you and then this layout is just a little different but each of these papers are measured the exact same way so your back piece is that two by four and a half then the side piece here is two by four and then this little piece is two by three and a quarter inches so you can take those pieces you can mix and match your paper and you can layer them differently on your card to create a variety of different designs. So how fun is that? I just love playing around with different layouts, different designs, layering things differently, just to create a whole new look for the card. Okay, so there you go. Now you have three different card ideas that you can use with really any supplies that you have on hand. And you have some fun card designing techniques that you learned today. So I hope this video inspires you to pull out some of your own supplies and use these techniques to create some cards of your own. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.